Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Right now I am outside walking in the garden. Check this out. We've got tons of tomatoes. Swales we're working on. Anyway, it is a beautiful day. Beautiful day out here. A little bit of a breeze, a nice sunshine, and check out those clouds. So uh, today's video is going to be, I'm gonna show you how we roast our own coffee. Uh, we love it, we started it, and haven't looked back since that we roast our own coffee every time. So uh, watch the video, let me know in the comments if you have questions or any thoughts on the process, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get to it. So today I am roasting two different caffeinated coffees together. Uh, we bought two different kinds and I prefer the Papua New Guinea. So I am making a blend to achieve a flavor I prefer. So coffee stays rich in antioxidants and minerals for about two weeks before it starts to degrade. So we roast about three cups each time. I start out with the beans on medium heat and I stir them with a whisk. As the pan heats up, it's important to maintain a steady stir in order to get all the coffee beans evenly, fairly evenly, so that you don't burn any or leave any that, are, um, that stay raw. So I've heard some people say that they don't drink coffee because of its negative effects on vibration or frequency of the body. And I've looked into some of those studies and while they did find that it was true that some coffees can uh, lower the vibration in the body, it, they found that it was more attributed to the chemicals used in the growing process or even in the processing of the beans. When looking into organic coffee and um, properly roasted coffee that's kept fresh, uh, they actually found that it can raise the vibration. It can actually have benefits um, for the body. They're high in ox antioxidants and minerals. So this process is simple. You just maintain a steady stir and uh, the coffee will roast. Now it's important to listen for the first crack. And this is when you'll hear many of the coffee beans make a popping sound. So if you look into people's results with roasting their own coffee, you'll find that the majority of people can agree that it's short into the short after the second crack that creates the best roast. Once they are roasted, the caffeinated beans will have a chaff in the pan. So what we do is take a blower dryer just to blow that off so that when we store it, it doesn't have chaff in the container of coffee beans. You can do this inside or outdoors. I would probably suggest outdoors just because it makes a mess. But because we were doing the video inside, that's where we did it. And you'll see that we made a huge mess. So this is the finished product of the caffeinated beans. Uh, we did a blend, as I said before. We also roasted some decaf, but I didn't include the video. It just would have been the same process. This is the caffeinated beans. And here are the decaf beans. We roast them darker because as you roast them, they lose uh, caffeine content. So I don't have to worry about that with the decaf. And here we are preparing our first fresh cup of coffee after our roast. It's 
So the roasting process takes about 25 to 30 minutes, and then you have your home roasted coffee the way you like it. And in my opinion, it's absolutely worth it.